changing your needles on any sewing machine is key. If you think of a needle as 50% of your seam, you might think about changing it more often. So anytime somebody calls and says, my machine isn't working, the first thing I ask them is, did you change your needle? And then also what size of needle is in the machine? And then there's different types of needles. But I wanna show you a couple tricks about changing a needle that can help you and also the importance of not over tightening this screw with your screwdriver. So either pull out your longer screwdriver or your shorter one, find which one is easier for you to handle for this operation. Lift up your presser foot. If you're changing threads and needles, I always like to clip my thread up here at the spool and then pull all the thread out of the machine this way. That way I'm not dragging any lint and things up into the machine where it might start to gather and be a problem. Next, the presser foot can actually be lowered to help give you a little bit more distance in this area for your hands. But did you see this little uh, multi-purpose tool in your accessory bag? It actually has a hole right here for helping you catch that needle. So again, if you have any trouble getting your hands in there, this tool is a lifesaver. So it's going to catch it when I loosen it, but also too, the shape is not round. It's actually like a D shape. So it's flat on the back. So when I drop that needle into that hole to help insert it, it's gonna help slide it all the way up while I'm tightening the screw on this side. So it, it is super easy to work with. So again, find which screwdriver works for you and catch the needle. See how that just drops in there? Notice too, by putting a little piece of fabric under your foot, if you weren't using this tool, then that helps the needle not drop into the machine and you having to dig it out. So again, there's where that flat side's kind of sitting in that flat groove of the hole. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple tricks too. Once you slide it in, to double check that it gets high enough when we're done. So when we're ready to put our needles back in, slide that all the way up to the highest point and make sure it goes as high as it'll go. I can feel that it stopped and then I pushed a little bit and it went a little bit higher. Next, we wanna tighten this screw, but I need you not to over tighten it. If you over tighten it, it can actually stop holding the needle and it will actually kind of lose its ability to hold it. So you need a nice gentle tighten. I don't know how to describe that, but it needs to be more than a finger tighten because it's not really easy to just finger tighten that, but it needs to not be over tightened. So find that happy medium and your machine will love you. The last thing to do is when you go ahead and re-thread your machine is utilize the needle threader. Now I know some people say, oh, I never use my needle threader. But for those of you who are in the habit of using it, if that needle threader comes down and swivels around the needle where the eye is, you know it is perfectly as high up into the machine as it will go. If you had not gotten it all the way up and you used your needle threader and you wondered why the two didn't line up, it's because of that. You didn't get it high enough into the machine. So go ahead, if the presser foot is down, bring that presser foot up, re-thread the machine, Get it going and again, changing your needle will solve like 80% of any issues you have with your machine. Don't forget to do that little cleaning out underneath the throat plate. Check our cleaning and maintenance video to teach you how to do that and the importance and how often you should do that.